because I can't stop talking about Prusoles, let's talk about this Prusole. The 2747 Prusole with the blue frame and blue lenses. Because I love blue lenses, and you should love blue lenses as much as I love blue lenses. Before we get started today, I just want to thank you for watching. It's going to be a little bit on the short side of this video. I have a lot going on this week, but if you could go ahead and like and comment and subscribe to this video, that would be great. But let's just jump into the review itself. This, actually, believe it or not, guys, was my very first pair of Persols, and I immediately fell in love with them. Before this, I'm a little ashamed to admit this, I was kind of a Persol hater. But this pair just kind of stuck out to me just a little bit. So I ended up getting them and immediately fell in love with them. I mean, they look very close to the traditional Persol style, but they're actually a little bit different as we'll get into later. Uh, but they are truly a remarkable pair of sunglasses in their own right. Let's get into some of the specifics. This is a full acetate frame with a 57 millimeter lens and a 16 millimeter bridge. Crystal glass polarized lenses. But let's briefly talk about the frame itself. It's a very unique color of frame. I, you don't see a lot of frames like this. I think on camera it might be registering black, but rest assured the color itself is actually blue. So it's this dark navy blue frame that runs all the way through it, except for right here up at the front. But the front, it has a drop different color, where it's almost like the yellow tobacco Virginia. And that's one of the things that made me really love this particular pair of sunglasses in the first place. It's the fact that it has that two separate color variants. It's the fact it has two separate colors in the frame itself. So you have the under rim right here of being that acetate, with the rest of the frame, of course, being that blue. Of course, with it being a pair of Persols, you get some of the Persol trademarks. With that being right here, the Persol arrow, which, as you can see, comes around to the front of the frame and continues all the way to the side of the frame. And of course, after the arrow, you can see the two rivets for the Meflecto system. And a quick refresher about what the Meflecto system is, is that you have these two rivets on the frame that separate the temples from the rest of the eyewear, along with a flexible piece of metal inside the acetate itself. So what that allows for is flexible ear socks right there at the temples, meaning it's a custom fit to your head and it never puts any pressure right here on the temples. And it is something wholly unique to Persol. Other manufacturers have to get around this by implementing spring hinges. And a spring hinge, as I'll explain briefly with these pair of Tom Fords, is whenever there's a spring inside the hinge itself that allows the frame to flex. And that ostensibly serves the same purpose of keeping the pressure off of your temple. But if I'm being perfectly honest, I prefer the reflector system a little bit more. To me, it just provides more of a comfortable fit. It stays off of the temples, but it also holds firmly behind the ears. I feel a lot of the time with spring hinges, it just flexes out too much and it doesn't feel as tight behind the ears. Of course, with it being Persol, it's all handmade in Italy. Each Persol frame takes about, I think, 12 to 14 days to make. I'd Google it, but frankly, I don't have time for mucking about. And let's get to the piece de la resistance, the lenses. These lenses check every single box in my book. They are a glass, polarized, anti-reflective, photochromatic lens. Basically, like they tried to custom make a lens for me. But let's try and break each one of those benefits down. It has a glass lens, which means you get enhanced color clarity as well as uh, lens durability. It's polarized, meaning it cuts down on harsh glare, and it's anti-reflective, which means it has this very small coating on the inside of the lens that prevents any kind of glare coming from the back end, which that also helps a lot to give you some of the best clarity. And it's also photochromatic, meaning it automatically adjusts to light. So if you were to take these out into the harsh sunlight, the lens itself will actually adapt and get darker to that. And it's also a blue lens, which just happens to be my favorite lens color. I mean, it's basically the perfect lens. So why don't I love it? Let me pause on that, I do love it. I just don't know if I love these lenses as much as I should. One thing to note about these is uh, the photochromatic in the lenses, I don't really notice them that much. It's not a big jump from their lowest end to their highest end as far as darkness. I mean, it starts out as a level three lens and it only gets to a darker level three. So if you're one of those people who really likes that party gimmick of a photochromatic lens where it goes from like a super light lens to a super dark lens, these might not necessarily fit that bill. And also something to note, these are a 57 millimeter lenses, which means they're a very wide lens, but they're not a very tall lens. So they're just this very sleek rectangular lens. 
And so whenever you have it on, actually I see a lot of light coming from above the frame. It might not be that big of a deal. It's something I had to get used to and something I've talked to a lot of other people who've had these pair of frames. They had to get used to it as well. So that you do have uh, just some light that comes in from the top of the frame more than you would with some other frames. Just a little something you should probably take note of. As far as the packaging of these, they come in the standard Persol box, which has this very nice matte texture to it with a glossy Persol finish right there. And then as you open the box, it reveals the case inside. And the case is just one of the standard Persol boxes. It's actually magnetized right here. So it closes very easily and they glasses don't tend to fall out. And then it also comes with some of the other stuff that you would expect with a pair of Persols, like the Persol cleaning cloth, the Luxottica pamphlet, the Certificate of Authenticity, and then lastly, these actually come with a very small book on photochromatic lenses. Just a little something extra to wet your whistle. So all in all, yes, I still absolutely love these frames. Even after I've had many other sunglasses and many other pair of Persols, I still go for this a lot. And actually, whenever I first got them, I ended up wearing them probably more than any other pair of sunglasses I had at the time. But I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. If you've had them or if you like them, please let me know. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like it. Also, you can click right here to subscribe or you can click right here to watch more. And I would really consider subscribing if I were you because I have some really cool videos coming down the pipeline and I don't want you to miss out on them. And this is me speaking directly to you. I don't want you to miss out on the really cool videos that I've planned for you. And rest assured, they're not all sunglass related. But thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.